Good morning, YouTube. It's Integra Freak One back again. Today we have the Nike Air Humeras. I'm actually shortening the name because it has a very long name. But first, let's see the tag. So we'll give you all your information. Retail is 140 on these. The Nike Air Terra Humera 2018 LTR. Not sure what the LTR means. These are size 10 and a half. The whole color of the shoe is basically right there, anthracite. It's a full anthracite shoe. There you go. Everything anthracite. It's a very nice shoe, very comfortable. It's very wide also. In the pictures, it doesn't look like it, but these are some very, very wide shoes. They almost feel kind of like skateboarding shoes. That's how wide they feel. But that means that they have a lot of padding and cushioning. And I think, I'm not sure if these are waterproof or not. It does not say if they're waterproof. Again, here's my main way of telling if a sneaker is meant to be waterproof or not. I just put my finger through the two materials here. Basically the, um, the main part and then the tongue of the shoe. And if your hand goes right through, it's not sealed off for water. If a shoe is supposed to be waterproof, it's supposed to have water uh, protection for in here because that's when the water gets in here and then it's supposed to stop the water from going in and it doesn't. But anyway, these shoes would be very nice shoes casually. It has the Nike Air Max unit in the back. Very nice styling of doing it. It has a, it's actually a white interior, <laughs> the white cage inside with the Air Max air unit in there also has some 3m hits on the pull tabs in the back for when you're putting on the shoes here's the back view has the nike air in the back it's a full suede upper it's very nice material it's like a uh, actually i would say it's a mix of suede and nubuck actually because it doesn't really move that much but very tough material really nice good quality shoe has the thick rope laces you have the Nike Humera, I'm guessing, logo on the tongue. Here's the inside view. The mesh inner lining. Here's the top view. Like I said, these are very comfortable, but they are wide shoes, as you can see up from this type top view. Very aggressive thread pattern at the bottom. I mean, I'm sure these are these are good for hiking but probably not the type of hiking where you come in contact with water just because you will get water in these, I'm sure, from the top. But um, I wouldn't wear these to, to get any anywhere near water. These will be staying right outside, but be dry. And here's the overall view of it. Like I said, very comfortable, but wide. Favorite part right there, the pull tab in the back. I wish, I don't know why Nike doesn't do this on certain shoes, but if it's for outdoors, I would think, does it make sense to put more of this reflective material on the shoe somewhere else? Because that's for safety, you know? They had that on some of their running shoes, like the Nike Free Runs has some 3M hits, but I think Nike doesn't put 3M on their shoes enough. It's a very nice material and it's a very nice touch on any shoe really, especially for an outdoor shoe. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. See you next time.